turns out celebrities are just as awkward as we are. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funny celebrity encounters with the royal family. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at 10 funny and cute encounters between famous celebrities and royalty. Number 10. Prince Philip asks Kate Blanchett about his DVD player. Every family has that one person who just does not get technology. For the royals, it's Prince Philip. While appearing on The Jonathan Ross Show and sitting on the floor, Kate Blanchett told a story about going over to Philip's for lunch as one does. I went to their house once for lunch and there were, there were 12 of us and I couldn't work out for the life of me why I'd been invited. While there, he began talking to Kate and told her he was having trouble setting up his DVD player. Unfortunately, Kate couldn't help as it was not her area of expertise. I said, well, sir, I'm really, it's not my area of expertise. I thought he's invited me for lunch to tell him how he's making DVD players. <laughs> Seems at the end of the day, even royalty has trouble setting up the new toys. They're non-techies just like our non-techies, grasping at the first person who seems like they know what they're doing. Number 9. Ben Affleck's son played with the prince and princess at Kidnasium There's a surreal headline you probably never expected to read. Ben Affleck once took his son to London's Kidnasium, a place filled with, in his own words, germy balls that they kick around. You know that place that's like when it's raining outside, oh, it's yes. an yeah. indoor yeah, place yeah, yeah, you yeah. can play and they have stuff, you know, germy balls that they kick around. <laughs> and Soft play. Yeah, exactly. Uh, on this visit, he couldn't help but notice that the place was filled with well-dressed men wearing earpieces. Despite initially admiring Canadian's hardcore security, he quickly realized that Prince George and Princess Charlotte were in attendance. You like play with them. Play with like, them. Go talk to them. Impress <laughs> them. Be <laughs> nice to them. You know what to say. <laughs> now just imagine that. You're minding your own business at Canadian when you realize your kids are playing with a frickin' prince and princess. Affleck now tells his son that he got a cold from the King of England. Which, as colds go, is quite the honor indeed. So now I can tell him, like, you got a cold from the King of England. <laughs> <laughs> Number 8. Amelia Clark bumbled her way through saying, Your Royal Highness. Meeting royalty is quite the process, and it seemingly got to Amelia Clark. Yes. How'd it go? It was good. <laughs> it was good. She apparently got a little flustered with all the formality, rules, and regulations one of which included addressing William as Your Royal Highness. Unfortunately, Amelia was so nervous that she couldn't get the words out and was left to mumble her way through a painfully embarrassing greeting. And for whatever reason, probably because I was so scared, I couldn't, I couldn't manage to get out Your Royal Highness. So it was kind of... <laughs> yeah. And FYI, William has also met Tom Vlachia and asked him to reveal precious spoilers. Tom obviously refused due to non-disclosure agreements or some nonsense, but come on, when the second in line to the throne asks you what happens, you tell him what happens, rules be damned. That is certain. The time is not. Number 7. Alice and Jenny was barefoot while meeting Catherine and William. After attending the BAFTAs in 2018, Alice and Jenny rid herself of her high heels owing to some extraordinary foot pain. My, I just, my feet were, had had it, so I took my shoes off. Unfortunately, she met up with William and Catherine, who just so happened to be pregnant and wearing heels. Naturally, this made Jenny feel like a bit of a wimp. To make matters worse, she called Catherine honey, which surely breaks royal etiquette and only made things more awkward, at least for Allison. It was, it was an awkward moment, but um, because <laughs> I did, I called her honey, and that might have not been royal etiquette. In the end, this was just a smorgasbord of fail. That said, Catherine was apparently a good sport and declared her love of I, Tanya, so it seems like no harm was done. They loved I, Tanya, and, and it, was, it was a pretty cool thing to meet. Number 6. Emma Thompson is denied a kiss by Prince William. In November 2018, Prince William bestowed the always delightful Emma Thompson with the title Dame Commander of the British Empire. You received an order, is that, am I saying this right, an order of the British Empire? Yes. And it, Dame what, Commander of the British Empire. Dame Commander. During the formal process, Emma, who has known William since he was a child, playfully said, I can't kiss you, can I? Boo to those silly rules. Unsurprisingly, William told her no and said that the day was about her, not him. That sounds like a flimsy, 
But hey, not everyone is denied a kiss by the future king of England, so she has that going for her. That and, you know, being made a dame. Number 5. Shawn Mendes sits in uncomfortable silence with the queen. We all have that friend who we can just chill without saying a single word. Apparently, Shawn Mendes and the Queen of England aren't quite there yet. Shawn was backstage at the Queen's 92nd birthday extravaganza when he suddenly found himself stuck in a room with the birthday girl herself. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in like this backstage area before you go on, you go on stage and, and I'm standing there waiting to go on stage and the Queen just walks up next to me and she's standing there and I'm, and I'm like… However, it was a long 10 minutes of unbearable silence, as you cannot address the Queen without being addressed first, which unfortunately for Sean didn't happen. Awkward. So it was like this very 10 minutes of just awkward silence between me and the Queen. In his words, the whole experience was super weird. Super weird is probably how a lot of people describe meeting royalty, if this list is any indication. And then she, Did she look at you at she all? She didn't look at me at all. I, I looked over a couple times and I was like, I probably shouldn't be looking. <laughs> Number 4. Simon Pegg Broke the Queen We're starting to think that maybe meeting royalty isn't as fun as it's made out to be. I did. I met her recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met her at the Narnia premiere and she, uh, I thought I broke her, to be honest. I <laughs> While attending the Voyage of the Dawn Treader premiere, the Queen met Simon Pegg and stared at him in silence for a solid 30 seconds, at least by Simon's watch. <laughs> and then she came up to me and she looked, she went, this was because he wasn't allowed to address her, and as such, Simon could only stare back in anticipation and awkward unease. And then she just went, and what do you do? Like that, and I, 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 was, I almost hugged her because I thought, thank God, you're, you're still with us. And then... Luckily, she finally snapped out of her funk and addressed him by asking who he was. We guess Her Royal Highness isn't a big Hot Fuzz fan. What's the matter, Danny? You've never taken a shortcut before. Number 3. David Duchovny Explains Booty Calls to Prince Charles David Duchovny shared quite the interesting story on James Corden after he revealed a photo of David talking to Charles at a concert. One song in particular, the classic All Saints Booty Call, visibly confused the elder royal. I saw Prince Charles just kind of looking perplexed, and he said, booty call. Luckily, David was there to help and explain the term to the prince. In that typical reserved British fashion, Charles responded with a simple, nonplussed O. Oh. And he said, Oh. <laughs> we can only imagine what was going through his head. We don't think too many people on this earth can say that they've explained booty calls to royalty, so enjoy that distinction, David. Number 2. Margot Robbie tells Prince Harry that he looks like Ed Sheeran. As any redhead can tell you, to the general public, every redhead is an exact twin of every other redhead. Margot Robbie is no different in this regard. While attending Suki Waterhouse's housewarming party, she spoke to a friendly ginger, took goofy pictures with him, and told him that he looked like Ed Sheeran. At some point throughout the night, she realized that this hunky mystery man was none other than Prince Harry. To her credit, she didn't realize it was Prince Harry because he wasn't wearing a crown, which is totally understandable. You met the hot ginger. I didn't and I was know it was him for about half an hour talking to him. But she now has his personal phone number, so the two clearly got on. How do we go about getting into these parties? I, I, you have I, Prince Harry's phone number. I, I have my phone under lock and key, kept very safe. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. The Spice Girls Meet Prince Charles and the most unsophisticated behavior shown towards a royal award goes to the Spice Girls. <laughs> the first thing you may notice is the incredibly inappropriate attire, even by the late 90s standards. Their behavior is also straight up gutsy, which includes cheek kisses and even a cheeky butt grab by Ginger. We don't know too many people who have grabbed the prince's butt and gotten away with it or anyone who's grabbed his butt at all for that matter. But then again, he was clearly enamored. This clip is just adorable, and it shows a rare, fun side of the otherwise rigid and rule-filled process of meeting royalty. Do you agree with our picks? 
Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.